Hey everyone, I'm Case Aiken. And now, while when you say Superwoman, Kristen Wells is the first character that comes to mind for me, she is by far not the most famous Superwoman. That honor goes to someone who, in some cases, is a very literal Superman analog the superwoman of the crime syndicate. So the crime syndicate began as a very easy to explain concept. DC had a multiverse with different versions of their characters populating most worlds. That is when they weren't characters from defunct publishers that they had acquired. And so the crime syndicate was from a mirror mirror style earth where good was bad. Superwoman was the evil version of Wonder Woman on the crime syndicate. However, there were some discrepancies. The idea at the time was that she was a wild Amazon, which was signified by her lack of bracelets, who we could tell had lost her eternal youth, which was signified by her white hair streak. However, the multiverse went away with the crisis on infinite earths and the crime syndicate in particular got a great send off at the beginning of that maxi series. But frankly, the idea was so damn good that no one could resist attempting to bring back the crime syndicate. An evil Justice League is just a really good idea for a set of villains. Apparently, some might say. First, in the late 80s, early 90s, there was an attempt to base them out of Cord, the antimatter reality, but that idea didn't stick. It was Grant Morrison who brought the group back for real, and they made some interesting changes. See, the original was basically evil Wonder Woman, but this version was now Lois Lane, and apparently Kryptonia. She had heat vision and more Superman-like abilities. Meanwhile, Ultraman, the direct Superman parallel on the team, was apparently a human Clark Kent who gained powers the way the mainstream Lois Lane had gained superpowers various times. More on that later. This team was introduced in a one-shot book, Earth 2, but would then go on to appear frequently throughout the early 2000s. This version of the crime syndicate was eventually loosely adapted to a cartoon, Crisis on Two Earths, where here the version of Superwoman was changed to be a take on Captain Marvel slash Mary Marvel slash Shazam. I didn't see that one coming and I fucking loved it. <laughs> anyway, this version stuck around until DC brought back the multiverse and repositioned them back at Earth 3, their traditional home. Continuity has been very screwy lately, but Superwoman has been featured alongside the rest of the crime syndicate in miniseries, as well as in bouts against Jonathan Kent and the Justice League. What with multiverse stories being so hot right now. Anyway, yeah, it's a fun character. The main thing is that she assumed the role of evil Wonder Woman, regardless of her origins. She's always been powerful and evil with a dope black outfit, and usually a lasso that she can either control with her mind or use to mind control people. And like I said, the idea of evil versions of the world's greatest heroes are really compelling. And that's a thing we will come back to eventually. But next time, I want to talk about more mainstream times that Lois Lane gained the powers of Superman and became the first Superwoman. But until then, stay super, man. Hey, and this is the part of the video where I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I would ask only that you check out some of the other stuff that we've got going on at certainpov.com. We actually just did a crossover with the Fun and Games podcast on Twitch, where we streamed the death and return of Superman. You can find the video over on Fun and Games' YouTube channel. Check that out. J. Mike and I were providing commentary the whole time. It was a lot of fun. But otherwise, just have a great week.